You gotta love that beat. You gotta love the beat. If you guys are on, uh, if you're on, uh, what you call it, on uh, Twitch, you guys can hear this beat. This beat is awesome. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Kid Onk Fet Vlogs. How is everybody? How is everyone? Okay, let's move on. Let's do a face cam. All right, we are streaming on Twitch and Instagram simultaneously along with Facebook. How is everybody? You guys can look at my face and tell how great and happy I am to be talking on this subject. Okay, guys, so let's just jump into topic, right? I stated before I was going to give a response to something that happened last week. And I am. But the beginning of this, I want to preface, I don't want anyone going after, stalking, attacking, threatening, doing any of that shit about anyone that is conversated in this topic tonight. Because... There are already enough fucking problems in the community, and this w would be fucking stupid to add on to it. So, I want to preface that first. If anybody decides that they want to try to do that, I will personally make sure that you are prosecuted. I, th this is, like, tonight, thank you for the follow. Um, tonight, we're going to really talk on some shit that we really need to talk about. First off, is what the fuck happened. If you guys are knowledgeable about what has happened, you guys know that a friend of mine passed away uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Padded Luna was a wonderful human being. She was amazing of a human being. I met her at Capcom a couple of years ago. Uh, not a couple of years ago, a couple of months ago, I'm sorry. I met her at Capcom, and she was just the most vibrantly lovely person I have ever seen in my entire life. When I first met her, tears ran down my face because she was so happy and joyous, and it was great. And I absolutely love that woman. She was absolutely one of the most special, like, just someone who could just bring light into nothing but a world of darkness. She was that great of a person. She had a long bout with uh, cancer and um, she passed away. Long behold did I uh, find out last week that Apparently, this whole thing with Riley Kilo happened. And that Riley had said some things that were especially heinous. I'm not here to judge anybody or, or to attack or shame anybody. I am here to criticize, though. And criticize I shall do. Because... I believe that what took place last week is a failure on the community, more so than it was just Riley's actions. And I am being 100% with that. Like, it was a failure in the community as well. Because I have been stating, if you guys have been watching the podcast, I've made comments, little hints and comments on the podcast, extremely, like, pointing out certain problems and things that, that I personally was seeing in what Riley was doing. Such as random attacks on people for things that she herself didn't like. And I'm like, no. And then, like, if you don't agree with her, then she would, like, try to turn the entire internet against you. It was it was silly. It was silly. All the, the nonsense was absolute silliness. And any time that the situation called for it, then all things would be deleted and then they would just say, I'm going to a mental, a mental hospital. I'm not here to judge whether she went or not. But the sheer fact that she used it every time that the community came down on her is, is enough said. 
My biggest issue is that we as podcasters are wordsmiths. That's what we are. We're wordsmiths. What we do is that we try to explain the community to you and to new people and to those that are trying to understand us, right? We try to explain the community in such a way so that people can understand, so that people can understand more about age play and what it is and what it's not. When we go out and behave like this, such as telling Luna's fiance, calling Luna's fiance a, a drug addict and, and just downing her friends and then saying things like, you would have been a better choice to marry uh, Luna than, than the person she said I do to. See, that, th things like that is, is insane to me. That's, that's craziness. And that shouldn't have never been said. There was some heinous shit that was on that blog. It's been taken down now. But, like, everyone is like, I can't believe Riley said something like that. We were sitting there the entire time as they were saying shit and didn't say anything, including myself. I chose not to because I felt that the community would have been smart enough not to actually do that. But <laughs> Jesus, was I wrong on, on my on my end? Because one person that I happen to enjoy their content of, I enjoy their content. I think they're great. Did a scene and then like it was pointed out and said that 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 they were trying to expose themselves to kids and shit on a hypothetical. Like, <laughs> I, I, what? Like, okay, so let's talk about, let's talk about adult theming, right? Do you know how many scenes have been done in stores after hours or during a time that no people, like the amount of people in the store would be nil? Like, for instance, years ago, Walmart used to be open at, like, 24 hours a day. The, the ABs would do random scenes in, in a Walmart after hours. Like, when nobody's there. And nobody said anything. Anything about it. As a matter of fact, we consume the content. Right? Right? There have been scenes done at, like, playgrounds and stuff when there are no kids there because there are hours in which that is that would not be a thing. That's because in, in the adult industry, you can do scenes at different places as long as you're not exposing yourself or doing something random like that. However... The, the, like, like, for instance, years ago, back in the, in the 2000s, when, uh, FL Baby Girl was a thing, FL Baby Girl did a scene at a playground, like, after, out, like, when nobody was there. It was clearly empty. Clearly empty. There was nobody there. Yet, the entire internet went after one person on a fucking hypothetical. Like, what... <sighs> As a podcaster, we have a job. We we have a job. We are supposed to carefully use our words, right, to explain a problem and not attack anybody because of the problem, but to explain why it is a problem. It is up to you as the community to make a choice whether you listen or not. It is not the community's job to go out with fucking pitchforks. That's what that's what we don't do. And several times, several fucking times, Riley has sent people out with fucking pitchforks. And I cannot state enough how as a podcaster that's not what we do that's not our job our job is to explain and teach 
not go and rile up a fucking mob to go and attack people. What the fuck? Like, what did we live through three, like, seven different fucking wars in the community between two different groups or multiple different groups for? If you don't learn anything, then nothing gets changed. Nothing gets changed. I don't, I don't, I don't understand, like, how, how this happened. I don't, I don't. And to be honest with you, again, like I said, I don't want anybody going after anybody. That's not the point. The point is to criticize the action, not, not so much the person, but the actions that were taken by the person. You have to understand, like, we are working hard. Us podcasters are working hard to try to improve the community and make it look better. It is not our fucking job to go out there and tell you all to find the monster and fucking hunt him down. That is not what we're supposed to do. Because half of the time when they fucking do that, more than likely they are just hunting down someone they don't like. We are better than this. We have always been fucking better than this. My mother and I had a conversation while I was on vacation. Because this is why this is being talked about now. This is why. I was on vacation. Going through a horrible diaper withdrawal. Oh, God. We'll talk about that later. But there is a conversation that really needs to be had about like something what my mom said as a podcaster you are something that my mom coined the term upperclassman an upperclassman is someone who is in the class higher than his peers right and we have a duty to be that upperclassman. As podcasters in the community, we are the upperclassmen who are supposed to lead by example. That's what we do. We're supposed to lead by example. We are supposed to go out there, sh show you by example how, what is appropriate in this community. However, we are not supposed to go out and tell people things like this. Hold on. Let me bring this up because this is important. And this is something that that this is something that was on the the uh one of Riley's videos and I really want to preface this. One of Riley's videos that has been taken down currently, right? Had evidence of bullying in it and nobody said anything i was the only fucking person that noticed it and when i kept making comments in the podcast people were like huh i wonder what he's talking about like i i was making subtle comments because things like this is is thing is why i got really angry this is wrong this is wrong. Listen to what the, what the comment was. The episode that this was in was uh, the episode against Kinky Dreams. when Because Kinky Dreams refused to get involved with the whole uh, Cat Marie thing between Riley and Cat Marie. When, which, that's something I wanna, I'm going to address too. Because Riley had no evidence. That was one of the things that irritated the fuck out of me. It's why I never covered the situation and why most podcasters did not cover the situation. There was not enough evidence. Everything there was circumstantial. And I've stated that on my podcast before. Did something happen? I believe so. Is there evidence of it? No. And neither are, and nobody who is a part of those parties are talking about the situation. The thing that irritates me though is, 
is that we, we, there was a video done with very little evidence and how the evidence was pulled was fucking cartoonish. You do not go to people that dislike the person and people who like the person and then make your judgment based on the two informations and how they, how they weigh. That's fucking stupid. That's stupid. That's not going on fact. That's going on circumstance. And that's going on super that's going on personal belief. Then when you personally victimize yourself and then say that everybody else is the fucking problem, that that's stupid. That's stupid. Again, we need to hold ourselves to a higher standard. As podcasters, that's what we do. We hold ourselves to higher standards. When we do cartoonish bullshit like this, that creates a whole new fucking problem. That diminishes trust amongst the podcasters, and that diminishes trust um, uh, with the community and us. That's what that does. What the fuck? Like, here's the comment that, that got me. And I saved this because this, this is just stupid. Because the way it was framed was like, oh, I'm just going to leave this alone. But that's not what happened. This is what was said. I was trying to meet with you as someone who has chatted with over the last, who I chatted with over the last few years, informally, uh, informally. I was going to tweet at you publicly, but wanted to reach out as we discussed this before. I was just surprised you are still on board with her. Mind you, the response that they gave, the response that Kinky, that, 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 that Kinky Dreams had given, the response that was given was there is only circumstantial evidence. I haven't seen anything that, that provides proof on what happened. That's, that's what was said. And this is what the response was, Right? So let me continue. If you recall, I wrote not implying you should change course or anything, just a heads up. So in the message, it was already said that, that it should not be used as an attack. This is not trying to force you to my side. This is only giving you a heads up. Okay, heads given. Heads up given. So it would end there, right? That's when you, when you end that message, that's where it should stay. That's where it should fucking stay. But that's not where it stayed. The next comment was, whatever you believe in, I have been consistent in my beliefs, open and transparent. I will continue to out abusers, like, like uh, out abusers, and then just names a whole bunch of people and then says, I consider you an ally until now. What the fuck? How? How the fuck did you get from we believe, uh, you can believe what you want, to you are now the enemy? How the fuck did you get that? In one paragraph. Do you now see what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Why the fuck are you sending fucking pitchforks against people? You didn't have any goddamn evidence. But there was a pitchfork fucking put out and then proceeded in the same video to claim that they were a fucking issue. There was a private conversation between me and Riley. There was a private conversation where I pointed this out. And when Riley came at me and said, that I was supporting someone that I never said I supported. And I had to go back through my own fucking videos and say, did I support them at some point? When the fuck did I say that? When, when, when was this a thing? I had to ask that question, right? So I started looking through all of my shit and I couldn't find anything. So I had no idea what they were talking about. I was also high. 
<laughs> like, mind you, I was on vacation at that time, too. I was at Anthrocon, enjoying my time with all the littles that happened to be in the, in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, what'd you call it? The furry community. But what I don't understand is, is that I was then named in a, in a live stream as someone who was, like, supporting Predators with no evidence. And then when they when she got called out on this, she said, I'm signing myself into a mental hospital. And I shouldn't have done that, so I've deleted it. I didn't I thought it was private. How the fuck do you think a live stream is fucking private? Like that no, no, no. That's fucking stupid. No. No. <laughs> no. That's utterly fucking ridiculous. That is the same thing that happened with this situation. Where there was a blog written about how the 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 fiance is a drug addict and all these people are fucking wrong and it's just I'm angry. I'm angry because again we are podcasters. We are supposed to hold ourselves at a higher fucking standard. And for fucking no reason were, were the, these, these random attacks on people that she just didn't like were taken against one person for being in a video game. What the fuck? Mind you, mind you, we're talking about someone who has been on far right fucking TV shows. Riley was on Bill. Bill, the guy that used to have his own TV show, don't worry, go and look for his ass now. That motherfucker's crazy. He's like a crazed QAnoner. Yet, for some fucking reason, it's that's okay to expose our community, but but someone who's in a video game is is a problem? What? <laughs> This is fucking gross, right? This is gross. This is not this is not how we're supposed to behave. As podcasters, this is not how we behave. This is not how we behave. Again, it is upper classmen. It, it is like we are upper classmen. We are supposed to, we are supposed to act. Oh, Lord, I did see that. Oh, God. Yeah, that was another thing, too. Uh, if you don't agree, then you're an enemy. If you d unfollow, then you are not an ally against L uh, an ally for LGBTQ. Do you know how fucking insane that is? Like, you do understand that this person is like literally yelling at you like a tyrant, right? And I made a comment in my podcast that was not addressed, but it was very hinted. I said, and I quote, if someone tells you how to fucking think, right? Or if you don't agree with them, then you're not on their side and thus you are an enemy. And it is willing to label you as an enemy for it. You should vastly, as fast as you fucking can, run away from that person. Because that is insanity. I was friends with this person and I read this fucking blog. I was like, how fucking dare you? The fact, like, <sighs> like people, we don't do this. And one thing you don't ever fucking write. I do have to say this. The one thing you never fucking write is, well, the family gave me money, a lot of money. You are going to say that to the person's 
fucking fiance? Talk about how much money the family gave you? Really? Would that money be the same money that you raised for that person's health costs? Is is Was that the money that they gave you back? Like, who the fuck says shit like that? I'm angry. I'm angry. But again, I don't want harm or anything to come to this person at all. I don't want people threatening, like, or harming or trying to harm. I don't want any of that shit. But I do want the community to be fucking aware of people like this. He says, I think there is exception to that point. Educating individuals on struggles they might not be familiar with is one thing. Trying to idolize a perfect think clone can be problematic, though. Yes. That's, that's the, I, the, the thing is, is that, listen, when I state, when, the, the thing that gets me, let me put it this way. I'm not saying that everybody, that, that we are flawless. No. But I am saying that we have to hold ourselves as podcasters as a different standard. That's, that's something that we have to do as, as a different standard. We should not be going out here and using this platform that we have to forge a rage army against the people we don't like. That's not what we do. All of us, all of us in this community come from houses upon houses upon houses of fucking trauma. We come from houses of trauma. I was abused as a kid. Called fat. Told I was worthless. I was tackled to the floor and beaten, literally punched in my face multiple times by my own father. I know what it's like to go through this shit. And I don't want to see someone else have to go through it. I built what I do on this podcast because I care about the community. I don't want to see people suffer like I suffered. I don't want them to go through the same shit that I went through. I want them to have a better experience than me. I want them to be able to be happy and joyous. I, I, under no fucking circumstance, would ever ask this community to do any of the things, any of the things that were done I, I, I can't. To Luna's friends, if you're in the chat, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. True. That is true. You can. But... I would hope that someone that has a podcast in this community, that someone that is content creating for this community would do so responsibly. That's what I'm saying. I agree. I understand. The idea is... We are supposed to be, like I said, it's the comment of the upperclassmen. That's the thing that I was raised on by my mom. Is that when you have a platform, and, or when you are doing something, you have to hold yourself to a higher standard. The moment we start sinking down and doing things like what was done, 
we are damaging the community. And I firmly do believe that. Some of you may not, but I do. My biggest thing is, we should not be doing this. And I, I hope, I pray and hope that if, if anything, right? Because I understand what it's like to have mental health issues. I understand that. But please do not use your mental health issues as a shield. That was something, there was two things that irritated me with this entire situation. With multiple situations and things that were being done. Two things were weaponized. And it ir irritated the fuck out of me. And I read it multiple times. Read it multiple times. The first, the first thing that irritated me is the constant use of one's preference. When I say that, I mean, uh, not even, no, that's, that's, that's incorrect. That's incorrect. That's an incorrect way to say that. Shame on me for saying it like that, because that's not what I meant. Using being trans as a shield is wrong. Like, don't, say that because someone disagrees with you then they are against you because you're trans that's that those two don't equivalent that that doesn't equivalent that doesn't work it doesn't and that was something that was done multiple times the other that was done that irritated the fuck out of me is the constant use of mental health issues as a shield and just Delete everything, claim that you have mental health issues and that you're going to the hospital. I don't know if she actually went to the hospital. I would hope that she did. Because if she was actually saying that and not actually going, that's offensive as fuck to me. And I'll tell you why. I have a boyfriend who literally, I watched this man crumble and had to go into a mental facility for over two months. I watched how his mental health cracked and how he desperately needed help. To go and use that as a shield is offensive. Just so that you don't have to take responsibility. That's offensive. And that's one thing I personally can't forgive out of this situation. I can't. Because that, that, that was offensive to me and, and someone who is close to me. It affected me in a way that I was like legitimately fucking crying. Because when I was falsely accused of something I had never done or, or ever said, the first thing that was said to me was, oh, I'm checking myself into a mental hospital. It wasn't, it wasn't used as a, I'm doing this because I have mental issues. It was done as, as in, if you do this and say anything against me, then you are automatically abusing me. Which, that was something else that was fucking done on a constant basis too. The pursuit of knowledge is an undertaking of responsibility, a war you wage against a greater ignorance. Yeah. No, that's that's a true statement. That definitely is a true statement. I'm constantly battling ignorance in this community. Constantly. And it it is just because right after that was said to me, right? That they were going into a mental hospital. They never did. Because they posted immediately right after that. And that was the day that I was like, yo, I don't want to have anything to do with this person anymore. I'm done. I'm done. That was the moment that I cut ties with Riley. Because it was months upon months I could show you the messages 
It is fucking insane. For months, Riley would message me and then just immediately attack me over random shit. And then I would be like, what are you talking about? Well, you said that this person is like your friend. They are my friend. What's the point? The person I was referring to happened to be someone that was attacked. I'm not going to call any names here. It's not Cat Marie, I can tell you that much. It was not her that was being referenced. It was someone else. Someone of color, actually. And the comment that was made was, well, they attacked me, which automatically means that you're against me. What the fuck are you talking about? I have no idea what you're referring to. You're going to have to give me a little bit more evidence than that. And, and nothing was given. Nothing. And that is one of the things that irritated the hell out of me. It's one of the things that, 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 that irritated the hell out of me. Like, why are you messaging me about your issue with someone else? I'm not going to go in and dogpile them. I'm not doing that. Again, I'm criticizing the actions that were taken, not so much the person. I just... The other thing that irritated me is that other side, outside of the three months of random accusations about shit is the, is the intentional, like, going out and claiming that... What was it? Fat life is a place uh, like tried to claim that neo Nazis or some shit are being recruited on Fat Life it, with no actual evidence of of said situation, or or the evidence being circumstantial. There was a lot of lazy evidence gaining, and I and I hated that. Like that's something I absolutely disliked. Was the was the empty headed uh, evidence gaining. And I hadn't even gotten to the fact that, like, when we had a conversation about the whole accusing me of shit, how I was, I was compared to an animal and called unintelligent by this one person. In the same way that racists talk to black people. That was a real thing that actually did take place. And when I brought that up, she thought it was hilarious get to that this is not how we act this is not how we behave this is not what we do and i say that until the until i'm blue in the face we're better than this people we're much better than this there is no reason for us to be at, at this situation like this there's no reason Again, we are better than this. I'm airing this shit out because of the fact that I want people to look at the actions that were taken. Pay attention to that. That is some really ignorant shit. Do I think that that more than likely they were in the chat uh, in the uh, chat room for for the podcast? Yeah, yeah, I 100% do. I wouldn't be surprised if they're sitting there in the, in the chat for it right now because I did not hide the fact that I was going to do this. And if Riley is listening and watching this, shame on you. Shame on you for what you did. You are supposed to be better than this. You are better than this. Out of all the years of being of being treated as a lol cow in the community and being and being like bullied and everything, you have the nerve to go and bully other people? What is wrong with you? You're better than this. You're way better than this. Going around and trying to, to manipulate an army that you can go around and just send after people you don't like, that's what 4chan does. That's not what we do. Yeah. I'm angry. Because this is not how I wanted to remember my friend. I shouldn't have to. Have to remember the hateful, heinous shit that was said about her friends. And the person that she said I do to. I shouldn't have had to read that. 
But you know what? Deleting it off of your blog site does not make it any better. And the sheer fact that you attack someone for the fact that they actually opened up and actually said what you did, that was disgusting. That was absolutely disgusting. The thing is, is that, and I'm going to state this, I'm going to state this just as I, as, as I stated once before, again, no one should attack Riley at all. No one should threaten or do anything of the sort because that's not what we do in this community. We don't act like that. We don't act like animals. We're supposed to have some of the, uh, we have some of the best and most, uh, most respectful people in this community. That's why I am hurt. That's why I am, I am utterly ashamed that a fellow podcaster would do something like this. And a person that I used to call a friend. This is why I am upset about it. Now, there are people that legitimately do feel sorry for Riley. There are legitimate people who feel sorry for Riley. I had one in my comments recently. And you want to know something? That's fine. That's fine. If, like, if you're okay with that, that's fine. But there is not anything in this community that will wipe away the shame. Not anything. Because I should have spoke out first. I should have said something earlier. Instead of being as... 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 Quiet as I was. And I'm sorry. I've let the community down. And I've let all... I've let a lot of people down. For not saying something sooner. And only being really cryptic in what I was saying. But I was hoping that the community would understand... They sure as fuck understood when it was said out loud, though. I can tell you that much. Because people read that blog and they were pissed. No. I'm... It was bad. This entire situation was just unacceptable. Unacceptable. We don't act like this. Never in my life have I ever thought to go and call someone like someone who's grieving a drug addict and claim that they are trying to use this person who is dying for drugs. Who the fuck says that? And then right after says, I would have been a better choice for this person than you. How do you write that? And not see the problem. That's what I don't understand. People read that. And everyone came down on Riley with the force of God. And that's the thing. I. What like. What possesses a person. To say some shit like that. I sure as fuck will never be able to look at them the same way ever again. I, I'm, I, I, I won't. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Because that, that was some heinous shit. Remember, we as a community are better than this. We're better than this. We don't have to act like this. No. No. And... I will continue to 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 act like the upperclassmen that my my mom talked about. But I have to because I can't. Let me tell you something. I, <coughs> excuse me. I I want to preface something. Why I started this podcast in the first place. The FET Vlogs, which we're watching right now, the FET Vlogs was created 
as a way to talk out about the community. When I first joined the community, not many people actually understood age play, and it was looked down upon and scoffed at. It was just something that was that that existed, and a lot of kinksters out in, in the U.S. did not want to deal with us because there was nothing more than bad examples of us out there. I created the podcast to try to make an uh, and to create an understanding. So that people can understand how how that worked, how our community was, and who and what our community is. That's why I created this podcast. I created this podcast several two I want to say several months, but I think it was about two or three. After in the community, I was told that that I was that I was a waste of big black cock. I was said that that was said to me at an event by someone who was white because I was an AB. And then following had been asked after that was asked by that exact same group to be a part of a plantation party. That shit traumatized the fuck out of me and i wanted to make sure that other people didn't go through what i went through that's why i created the podcast it started as a vlog series and went on from there that's how i did this under no circumstances did i ever feel that i should go out there and 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 use you all to attack people i didn't like Shit, even when I did the episode on Little for Big, I straight up even said then, make your own decision. Like, if you want to shop there, that's your business. I just personally, I personally wouldn't. But I'm not going to judge you if you decide to go. They have cute shit. Do I think that some of the people there are racist? Yeah. Yeah, I do. And I do, and I've stated in my episode of the situation, I've also posted pictures of conversations that were had uh, with people that were involved with that. I did that, the entire thing. But I always said, I don't want you all threatening nobody. I don't want you all doing any of that. I just wanted to make you aware of this thing happening. That's how I roll. That's how I always rolled. Man. This is not how I wanted to. It's like it's bad enough that I had to spend my entire Thanksgiving with no turkey or anything like that. No, I spent my Thanksgiving helping to move an ungrateful bitch out of her fucking apartment. <laughs> uh, that's family issues. But, but regardless of the, of the, of the, the point, it's just like, I, I, I don't ask anything of you guys. I don't. The only thing I ask if, if I do ask of anything is for you all to be good to one another. That's what I ask, is for you all to be good to one another. Don't start attacking people. Don't go out there and, like, and, like, try to get other people off the internet or do that catty shit that that people used to do when they were 16. You know, like the high school girl bullshit, the mean girl shit. Stop that shit. That's not what our community is about. We are supposed to be inclusive as like and 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 try to be there for one another. We are not just randos, we are family. And that is the way that I will treat and always have treated everybody. And I'm not stopping now. I'm not. You all are great people. All of you are great and wonderful people. I've met some of you, some of you I haven't. But there's never been a time that has ever made me go, this person is a, is a horrible problem and blah, 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 because you may like something that I don't. 
as long as it's not something that is harmful, I don't give a fuck what you like. Go ahead and enjoy what you enjoy. As long as nobody is getting hurt and it's not illegal. That that's the way it is. I I <sighs> The one thing I'll ever ask is that I hope that podcasters in the community start holding themselves to a higher standard. I I just want them to. Hold yourself to a higher standard. Be the upperclassman. That's what I'm saying. Like, to go over here to use a podcast to manipulate people, that's not what we do. That's not what we do. We're better than this. We're, We're much better than this. I had to get that off of my chest. That's been sitting on my chest for literally two weeks. For a week now, actually. Since last week. Almost two weeks. Okay. I had to give myself a moment. I'm just... We're better than this. We're better than this. Why are we doing this? We shouldn't even have to talk about something as heinous and gross as this shit. By all means, like I said, Riley, if you are listening, if you were in the chat or something, it's like I said before, I really do hope that you are going to get the medical help or the the mental help that you need. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that you are going the mile to go and get yourself help. Because... A lot of the stuff that was going on, I didn't approve of. And I and I told you this. And that's why you did what you did when you tried to claim that I was supporting people that I didn't ever say I supported. I expect better from you. The community expects better from you. Act better. Be better. This, this is beneath you shit. This is... This is this is bottom of the barrel fucking terrible shit. We're not in high school. We are much better than this. It's like I said, I'm not here to attack anybody, but I am fucking disgusted and criticizing the things that would happen. Jesus. Okay. Ugh. Next thing I'll point out, let's talk about uh Patreon. Oh boy, oh boy. So one week after this that that whole fucking story, the the Patreon apocalypse happened. Yeah, a lot of artists, if you guys are fans of uh ABDL art artwork or age play themed artwork um some of the biggest problem you may have noticed is that your favorite artist might be no longer on patreon um that's because patreon has decided that they have deemed they have deemed age play something that it is not and i and i i was laughing because if they went to court there actually is a precedent for this and it's the reason why someone that is an AB cannot be arrested for something, f- for uh, being misjudged. It, it's like there's no evidence and there is scientific evidence as to, as to our community being like not what they think we are. <laughs> so Patreon has decided that they believe that that ABDL stuff is sexualizing teens. And I was like, what? I was like, okay, so Patreon, let me get this straight. So if that's the case, right, do you, uh, would you be stupid enough to make the argument that wearing a school dress, that, uh, that, uh, that, that wearing a sexy schoolgirl outfit for Halloween is sexualizing schoolgirls? Like, if that, if that is the case, that is really stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like... That is some pearl clutchy shit. <laughs> and and Patreon, like, what the fuck? Like, there's already a precedent for this. Like, 
like there actually is a precedent for this and uh yeah i don't know what the fuck is wrong with you like why the fuck would you get rid of them i mean if it's if this is an optics thing i think you have more of the advantage than the people that you think you do because if i'm not mistaken i believe that mastercard is actually behind uh it is like one of the providers for uh patreon which mastercard aren't you getting sued <laughs> you're you're like legitimately like the aclu filed a suit against mastercard for throttling people's uh for throttling sex workers this is going to come into the same exact thing mastercard several times has been investigated by the government overdoing this exact thing because this is anti-competition <laughs> Because what's to stop MasterCard from doing this in any other situation? It, it, it's it's pretty bad. Ooh. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Ducky. You're, you're awesome. I really do appreciate that. Um, yeah, like, I, I, don't, I don't understand how MasterCard decided that, or if it is MasterCard... Uh, has decided that doing stuff like this is 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 appropriate because the like you are technically going against anti competition laws. You can't deem someone inappropriate for for doing a business that you have no you have no like qualm with. And the thing is is that if that's the case you're amping your company up to be taken down by Visa and and American Express because a lot of those a lot of those companies would not do half of the shit that you're doing so it makes no fucking sense like i i don't know how the fuck you you plan to do that because Visa never did any of this shit i don't believe i think only Mastercard has ever tried to do this and Mastercard i i don't know who sits on the board of Mastercard but whoever does is like constantly pearl clutching. Like, man, that is that is some crazy wild crap. Like, this isn't the first time because this also happened with OnlyFans. This has happened with um, Patreon once before. I don't think a lot of people realize that Patreon years ago had this exact same issue where they kicked all the ABDL off. Yeah, they did this exact same thing and then they waited like six or seven months and then let them all back on. It, it it it's stupid. It it they're only doing this because of the plural clutchy situation. More than likely MasterCard or whoever the fuck gives them money is probably the ones that actually did something on that. Like that that's usually how it works. Like, um oh man. If you guys are actually interested, please look up go to the ACLU's website. The ACLU uh, actually posted an entire article about, like, MasterCard and how they were going about doing certain business and the way they were doing it and why it's a problem. And they have been, they are, I believe, they, they, it's pending right now. They have a pending lawsuit that they have filed against MasterCard in this exact, uh, exact, uh, uh, in, for this exact reason. So, like, yeah, go and check that out. Read up on that. It's actually really, really fucking fascinating. But a lot of your favorite stars, over 30 different uh, artists were kicked off of Patreon. And they are now all scurrying to look for new uh, a new platform to post their stuff on. To my artists that are in the chat and shit, I have something to say. Please make a website. <laughs> no, no, like, seriously, make a website. You all, a lot of you guys make enough money to pay the, the fees for a website. You can just have a website with your artwork there and have people pay to go and see it. I'm not talking about, like, uh, like, uh, uh, not, what was the one artist page? It was, like, Crinkle, Crinkle Pen. Like, I'm not talking about Crinkle Pen, because Crinkle Pen I have an issue with. I think that the that the price is over it's way high. I think Crinkle Pen is way too expensive for what you're paying for. Like I don't want all the artists that are on Crinkle Pen. I have like my favorite artists that I go to on a daily basis. Like I don't want everybody, so why I, I shouldn't have to pay for 
every single person on there. And the fee is like, what is it, $30, $40, I think? Yeah, it, it's it's insane. But, yeah, you guys definitely, definitely, like, go out there and try to support some of these artists because that is absolutely necessary. Like I said, I'm hoping, I'm wishing for nothing but the best, guys. Um, I think you guys are out there, uh... Let me see something. Yeah, like I said, we're, like, we have so much that we have to, like, go over. <laughs> All right, yeah, it is. <sighs> this week has been just a weird, weird week for everybody, I think. Um, but yeah, Crinkle Pen is just, I, I, I was never a fan of that site, but I think that it is a bit, of, like, it, it is a place for them to go, but I, I would prefer them to actually have their own site. So I'm hoping that a lot of them will go to, like, start their own sites and then have it where they can, uh, charge through PayPal, I guess. Or, or they can go to another streaming site so I could uh, go and get uh, give them money for different content there too cuz i like supporting the different artists and stuff one of my favorite artists i think i've stated this before is dj kazu dj kazu is one of my oh my god love their artwork one of their pictures was my wallpaper for like for like half a year so that should tell you something okay <clears throat> oh man but i would actually go off to say that that uh uh yeah it's it's just been a week and i feel that everyone just needs to calm down and and just we need to take a breather that's that's what we need to do um i have uh another cast coming on tonight probably maybe what time is it and nah, i'm gonna i think what i'll do is do another cast on on saturday and it'll be our live stream for gaming our gaming live stream um it, it's going to be kind of fun and it is like I'm trying to think of what I will really want to do for that for that one. I think what we'll do is we'll do um Ooh, 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 ooh. that's what we'll do. Saturday. This Saturday. I'm going to do a playtime live stream um where we can just chat. <laughs> it's because it's like, I'm coming off a of vacation, I had a chest virus that damn well almost killed me. Uh, like, yeah, I, I think that's what I'm going to do, is that we'll do a playtime live stream this Saturday. Um, probably in the morning, maybe, if I don't go and play Heroclix that day. Yeah, but it's like... It's just one of those things. All right, yeah, I actually got to head out of here now. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys um, have a wonderful evening. And I will be back on Saturday with another with another podcast. Actually, yeah, because I just won. This one was my response and me talking about the Patreon thing. By the way, if you can't, if you're on Patreon right now, if you are uh, subscribed to your favorite artists on Patreon, please, by all means, uh, get your, uh, go and get your, uh, 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 go and, f 
uh, see if you can find where they are because some of them are getting what's the website called? It's like sub is like sub substar or something like that. Yeah, I think they're all getting their own like substars in a lot of cases. Um, a lot of them are waiting to get approved, so th- which they'll do. They'll get approved. Um, yeah, by all means, please, guys, go out there and support your favorite artists. Uh, until then, I will see you guys on Saturday. Catch you later. And those of you that are still here on Twitch, I will see you on Saturday. Catch you guys later.